How can you make a woman chase you? It's a question many men inexperienced in the dating market ask frequently. They may be able to get conversations started with women and actually create friendships, but that doesn't mean they know how to get someone attracted to them. That's an entirely different ball game. Today, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can have a woman magnetically attracted to you. This advice may be a little unconventional in comparison to what you usually tend to hear. So sit back, relax, and let me open your mind to a whole different reality. Number one, occasionally check in and ask her how she's been. The one common mistake that I see many guys make whenever they are trying to get a woman to chase them is that they confuse distance for denial. I have seen my own friends make the stupid mistake of completely ignoring the women they were into by being ignorant of them. I don't want you to make the same mistake and lose a woman who might really be into you. While I'm giving you the sauce that will get her to be the initiator at the same time, it does not grant you the ability to completely neglect her. You get back what you give. That's the law of nature. Every now and then, check in on her and show her that you care about her well-being. By doing this, you are letting her know that it's not a one-way street. Empathy is a fundamental support in a relationship. You don't want to take the attention you're getting for granted because what's being given can always be taken away. I had to put this point in the very start as it's commonly misunderstood. I condone being sporadic, but with the lows, you also got to let her experience the highs of being with you. Otherwise, she'll find it more worth her time to simply leave you in the past. Number two, actually observe and decode her. The rarest of tools you can possess in your relationship arsenal is the ability to truly understand your woman. Empathy and listening are key to this, but there is more. What you see, hear, and feel are the inputs, but what are you supposed to do with this information? You think and analyze it. Now, I'm not suggesting you go all science of deduction on your girl, but thinking about the deeper layer of her stories will give you an edge that no other man has. And it's not just about that. What adds on it is also the presentation you're able to generate. The key thing here is not to boast about your conclusions and insights, or try to fix her life for her, but to subtly slide your understanding into the conversations. Your subtlety will not only show her that you genuinely understand her, but will also save you when you get it wrong. When girls say a guy simply gets them, this is exactly what they mean. Number three, master the art of banter. This is the most complex technique on the battlefield of dating and relationships. If you are always emotionally available, you risk getting friend-zoned, but being completely ignorant can give her the feeling that you are not interested. To negate this double-sided sword, I present to you playful banter. When you indulge in playful banter, you accomplish three major things. Being available, being someone she enjoys spending time with, and conveying that you're still very interested without giving away your own mushy feelings. Be playful with your provocative banter as well. Make her laugh, tease her, but always know when to stop. When you keep the spirit of banter alive in your heart, you'll find yourself much more comfortable in her presence you'll be able to make jokes you would only think and stash in your head before. The reason is mental filters. Whenever we're in a situation where we're trying to impress or get across a certain image of ourselves, our minds put in place a bunch of filters which have a protective role. If you're at a job interview, your mental filter will prevent you from getting on topics that will end up backfiring. However, those filters actually become a problem when you don't train them appropriately. For example, when you're with a girl, you'll end up putting all these different filters in place to present the perfect you. You'll be trying to come off as funny, mature, smart, empathetic, laid back, all in the same sentence. Guess what will happen? You'll choke. Number four, make yourself physically irresistible. I know some of you think looks aren't of much value for a woman. However, what captivates a woman's eyes for the very first time is the way you look. You don't necessarily have to be Mr. Perfect, but you do have to look presentable and desirable. Looking clean, well-groomed, and organized is simple enough to look attractive enough to make her chase you. Number five, become friends with her friends. Many men are unaware of this, but becoming friends with her friends is the key to winning her heart. If her friends are against you, you might as well say goodbye to the idea of getting with her. Hence, this is a crucial factor to take care of. If your girl's friends think you're great and can't stop talking about you, then she'll automatically think you're great too. 
Not to miss the fact that if she sees you getting too close to her friends, she will get jealous and want you all to herself. It'll start becoming apparent in her demeanor. Number six, get busy with your own life. Honestly, this works wonders in knowing how to make girls chase you. The fact is, she expects nothing but the best from you. So when you actually delay responding to her text immediately because you're busy, that will pique her interest in you. This mystery will keep her on her toes and she'll be the one wondering what you are up to. Most importantly, it incorporates that element of desire that would encourage her to chase after you, especially when she's worried that she might be losing you. Lastly, number seven, withdraw after engaging. When you make eye contact with someone, it sends a signal that you are interested in them. By following that up with a sudden shift away from them, you show her that you are not desperate. This kind of playfully flirty behavior can cause a woman to become intrigued by you and make her want to know more. Girls chase confident men. When you make eye contact, look away and stop pursuing her, it can make her feel as though you are in control. This can make her want to chase you to try to see if she can get your attention again. She won't want to miss out on the opportunity and can be spurred on by the challenge. By withdrawing your attention, you gain power in the interaction. She won't know if you are interested in her or not, and this can make her feel drawn to you, creating an urge for her to pursue you. Similarly, you should also withdraw all your attention after complimenting her. Giving a woman a sincere compliment and then withdrawing all your attention can be an effective way to make her want to chase you. It might seem counterintuitive since you're essentially pulling away in the moment when the connection feels strong, but it's actually an incredibly effective strategy. This approach works because of the way our brains are wired. We're naturally drawn to things that are slightly elusive rather than overly available. By giving someone a compliment, you've triggered positive feelings. When you then withdraw, their brain is left wanting more of the positive feeling and they'll be driven to seek it again. Another reason this approach works is because it creates anticipation. The person will be wondering why you didn't pursue the connection and it primes them to think about you and that positive feeling. This opens the door for them to reach out and for you to create a stronger bond. Creating this dynamic can be tricky, but it's well worth the effort. Withdrawing after a compliment is a subtle yet powerful way to spark someone's interest and make them want to pursue the connection. Well, there you have it then, folks. Make sure you support the channel down below by sharing your thoughts in the comments, dropping a like, and subscribing for more content. See you in the next one. Take care.